Hello guys and welcome back to the KSP News Show. Uh, before we get into the news, I just want to talk about the lack of content in the channel. I apologize, I've just been really busy. We're approaching the midterm time of that year, you know, the semester for college classes and stuff like that, so it's going to be a little bit busy. Uh, I have a couple videos coming out soon, a uh, really good one for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, the gameplay you're watching right now relates to that video. Uh, I had to send a lot of ships out into the solar system. It was kind of fun playing the stock game, you know, visual mods, but, you know, still stock game. Uh, and, you know, mostly. So, uh, you know, that video's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a mod list. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, probably another Subnautica episode, you know, not very popular in the channel, but we'll see. And, uh, maybe some other stuff. Hearts of Iron 4, we'll see. I don't know. Some, some, something cool's coming out, though. I have a little bit of time this week, so we'll see what happens. But definitely a KSP video coming out soon. Uh, about mods. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy that. So, anyway, guys. Uh, this week in the news, we got a little bit of news about the console, the enhanced edition, and some about the historical expansion DLC. Nothing about the 1.4 update yet, no news this week, but the DLC news is kind of good. Uh, especially if you're those guys that like using those uh, structural panels and stuff like that to create massive ships. Uh, there's a lot of good news coming up for you at the end here, so stick around for that if you're interested in that. So, anyway, let's get going with the enhanced edition news to start off with. So basically this weekend there was a new patch that was released uh, so which means there was a lot of fixing of bugs and you know a lot of control problems that people were having with the new control schemes and stuff like that so pretty cool stuff but uh, you know new patches usually means you know they do mean less bugs but they also they also mean new bugs so the dev team is, all, is still taking feedback uh, there's a link in the dev block dev blog down below uh, click on the dev blog and you'll find a link there to basically the whole release notes but you know I'm not gonna go over that because you know the console edition isn't the most popular thing but you know but just know a lot of bugs were fixed and a little bit of control systems were fixed so hope you guys are enjoying that a little bit better now and uh, yeah so you can go check that out in the in the dev blog so anyway moving on to the KSP historical expansion DLC uh, again testing continues to uh, prepare for the release the final release of the DLC coming up in March. I have a video about all that stuff, release news and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's probably a couple episodes back, but go check that out if you want to get more information on that. Uh, again, they're just reducing bugs and stuff like that, balancing the main parts that are going to be added, making sure they're useful, they're not just crappy parts. You know, they are going to ask for money for this thing, so they better be good. Um, and yeah, they added a new Kerbal distance node basically for the mission builder which is a main feature of the DLC and uh, they also are still working on the point system which means they're having a little bit of trouble with that uh, so don't expect that point system for scoring on uh, missions to be completely you know dealt with uh, by the time of release so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a couple things and people are gonna complain and things are gonna change so we'll see what happens I hope it works out I hope it's not completely broken when it releases but you know they're not they're still having issues with that so there was a little bit of release on that on the mission builder a full-on mission builder thing but uh, I didn't do a video on it because I was you know I'm not really too interested in it actually so you know we'll see I mean you know it's, it's cool stuff though go check it out it's in the dev block link too. check all that stuff down there and you'll see it and uh, yeah so basically again the talked about the part switcher mod or whatever not really going to be a part switcher it's going to be called uh, variant switcher which is still part switcher it's just the fancy name name the dev team gave it you know uh, they don't want to copy the part switcher mod basically just the dev the variant switcher so you know same thing though it works similarly same thing so anyway let's move on to the actual parts you know the, the thing you probably still here for so uh, they're gonna be adding uh, for the structural area of the game really uh, you know that means not engines or tanks you can use tanks for structure but you know not not anymore now these things are gonna be added trust me so they added five different diameter so there's gonna be five different diameters now the new uh, diameters are gonna be the 5 meter parts and the 1.875 meter parts are coming in with the DLC so uh, they're basically five different size tubes you know there was originally a 1.25 tube in the game already but it's gonna, they're basically going to expand that so you're going to basically have big tubes in your space station 
and stuff like that, you know. Still not the best, because there's really no real reason to have them, but, you know, you can still have all that. You can have a little tube as a path to, like, another base or something like that. I don't know, something cool like that. Um, and, uh, you know, the, you know, the ugly old structural panels will also be removed. I'm pretty sure there's no real reason to have them anymore. Uh, because there's going to be new ones. There's going to be triangles. There's going to be square uh, cubes, squares, squares, basically squares, different sizes and stuff like that, and different variants. So I'm pretty sure with the variant switcher, uh, you're going to be able to switch between variants. You can have a picture of that stuff on the screen right now. There's fo foil variants and other little variants, colors, I think. And uh, hopefully they add more stuff like that to the other parts because I would like, you know, other variants for the. You know other other parts basically that will make basically expand the game basically that's the one thing that I might make this DLC worth it even though we already have a couple mods um, again the pricing is a little bit high but we'll see we'll see how it happens all right there's a lot of criticism and I am criticizing it too because it's a you know it's very very expensive and you wouldn't ex think for them to reproduce something in the game that you can already get by using mods right um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure there's going to be bugs at the start. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'll do a whole opinion thing once the thing comes out. The DLC comes out in March. Uh, I'll play it. I'll buy it myself. I'll pay with my own money because I'm not getting it for free. I'm still too small to even consider getting sponsored by the people in the, you know, development team. So don't think that's going to happen. I hope it does, though. But we'll see. Uh, that makes me probably... Uh, more honest because I'm gonna be wasting my own money on that, uh, especially as I'm now you know I don't have a job, so I have to you know use my money wisely. So anyway, guys, we'll see when that happens. Probably in the next two weeks, I think around there, and I'll play it and I hope you guys uh, enjoy that video that comes out with my opinion, and hope you guys can make a better choice on what you want. So yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please go ahead and watch all the other stuff on my channel. Uh, watch the new videos. Help me out. And subscribe down below if you enjoy the content, you know, like the video and share it so other people can get to know about it and get informed on what's going on with the Kerbal uh, game situation and DLC situation. So, yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye.